you guys think? The black joint right here, this stock. The stock exhaust. No sliders, nothing. Got metallic black with like this metallic baby blue joint. Digital dash, pretty wavy. Black joint. like the green one. Now on the green one they put the sliders on there. Right? Let me see if the exhaust is safe. Yeah, they put the sliders on the green one. They put the Popovich exhaust on there. But they should have put they should have put one that kills the the passenger foot pegs because they have a cover nah. they killed the back so like see the passenger back joint they killed it on this one see what I'm saying something else no fender killer tires the same size it's about 500 I could probably get a whole slider kit for like two let me see yeah they put these right that ain't nothing sliders right there no grips no clutch, no brake. So, if it was me, I'd take this stock and do all this jump myself. Unless they can make it. You know what I'm saying? As advertised on the price. You can always order one. Now, I don't mind the Popovich um, exhaust, something I wanted to do anyways. I don't mind the sliders on the front, but I need a couple more, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with y'all. Things like that. Or does the black joint look cool? <clears throat> with the red brakes. These will be red. Clutch will be red. These I'm gonna switch on, regardless on the color. Exhaust, of course, gone. I like how they did the bag to kill that. No fender killer though. <clears throat> did they do like the front sprocket on these? I don't think so. These will come off. ABS, both of them. Huh. I'm five, I'm five ten, maybe I'm five nine, but the boots probably five ten. Tim's five ten. No hands. Nice dash. You know what I'm saying? This one's stock though. You know what I'm saying? Not even wrapped in plastic. This one, I will just do the fender killer, the clutch, the brakes, the rest of the sliders, just put a, the front ones. Might even have to do the clutch, don't feel too comfortable. See, I wanted to put an exhaust that this right here attaches right to the exhaust and kills all this. The less weight, the better. 
this does drop weight. So this, they have light ones that are just attached to here. Stop pegs on the back. Well, this fender, all this comes off, so the license plate is just right here with the light turn signals. Let me talk to the guy. Let's see what's up. I like the green joint. Cause the green with the red accents, and blue accents. They said the even when I switch these into red and the blue and snap the caps back here, red, blue, whatever color, yellow, and then switch the brake lines. Like on the green one, I wanted to switch it to some, some good brake lines. You know what I'm saying? Not rubber, the wire joints, green or red on this one or something. Knock these out the way for sure. Y'all comment. I'll be back in a sec. What's up, guys? Peace and blessings to everybody. Wish you guys nothing but the best. Hope y'all doing well. Got an unboxing review. A little something different y'all can see. So I ended up with the Pro Blizzard White for the Project Bike. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to review it, what I like, what I don't, what I think about it. And I missed a lot. So next video on the bike, I'll touch up on the parts that I missed. Peace and blessings. It's your boy. Stay up and be safe. All right, guys, here we go with the unboxing slash review. I don't really know while, while I'm doing this video right here, uh, if I introduced the intro properly, if I used some footage from the dealership, uh, so on and so on. Anyways, as always, peace and blessings, man. PAB to everybody. Wish you guys nothing but the best. I've been working. You guys know what time it is. COVID-19 is taking a long time for things to ship, parts, so on and so on. So with that being said, uh, I wish I had a, a sneaker double up review, but we got a brand new 2020 Ninja EX 400 ABS Pearl Blizzard White SGK 23 Project Bike review walk around same jump off like the kicks but i'll touch on a few things as far as modifications how much money i put into them so far as far as mods that i'm not going to touch until the winter gets here or the summer is gone we're not working at 120 degrees um starter beginner bikes and i'll leave like the economics how to purchase a vehicle or slash a motorcycle cash via finance don't ever don't ever mention you're gonna buy anything cash until you get in a private office with the loan person the person that can sign a paper to sell you something not the salesperson in the lot in the showroom but i'll do that for another video as far as like more education this is more like an unboxing review and so on and so on why did i go with uh pearl blizzard bite Oh, number one, the Pearl Blizzard White is real like candy, candy, candy painted, number one. But not really. Number two is because I have a lot of white silhouette to work with as far as the project. The custom bike, which should be like like a American theme, Puerto Rican, Cuban, same type of red, white, and blue colorways, gold accents. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe I might go off of like red, white, and black with gold accents even though i got some blue uh spools already and i'm already eleven thousand as far as mods keep it that way and this is a, this was about uh seven thousand and some change with the gps and the 360 camera and all that and i still got to do the theft protection of the arm that locks everything up so you can add that type of change but i'll talk about the mods as that time comes to work on them or packages get here. Blam. Uh, first off, YouTube only. As far as brand new 2020 Pro Blizzard White owned 100%, no payments. You feel me? Uh, that's where insurance comes in. If you finance a bike, you're going to need quote unquote full coverage. 
even though there's like three different jump offs um, when it comes to a motorcycle, street bike versus a whip, a car. When you pay your shit in full, you can do what you want. It's $180 a year for me or full coverage, you know, um, 300 and something a year. Let's just say 400. <clears throat> you feel me? Finance versus cash out. We bought three bikes. The KRT, this one, and the black metallic joint. My man's got the KRT. The black is in the storage from my other mans. And this is the, gonna be the SGK23, the project joint. So it ain't gonna look like this. And we don't upgrade and trade stuff to get new stuff, kind of like jewelry. I'm not trading my white gold chain, all my silver custom pieces, my date just stainless steel, uh, my gold earrings to get one gold date date. No, no, we keep everything. And when we ready to buy the gold date date, we buy it. Same with the bike. So this ain't going nowhere when I get the next one. What got me back into, um, after 15 years of riding a motorcycle, deciding I want to buy one. Well, first of all, I decided and it took about a year, okay, of just thinking about it. Like, yo, I'm a cop. Maybe I should. Good hobby. The winter music garage. Hang out with the boys. About a year, so no impulse buys. Great bike for beginners. And I'll touch on a couple of points why. We'll turn it on. I'll go through the speedo, so on and so on. 17 inch wheels. The seats are pretty ill as far as the quality goes. Exhaust and muffler. I'm not gonna trash it like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, this is going away ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Just with the battery and the muffler, not a full exa exhaust jump off. Just with this and the battery, I dropped 20 pounds. This is 366 pounds soaking wet. I'm a little skinny dude. I'm like anybody that's 40 or older, 45. You guys ever met Tupac or ran into Tupac? I'm Tupac size. Or maybe even easier for some newer people. Uh, I'm a boxing weight training. Uh, I'm like Floyd. 10, 12, 8% body fat. I'm at 154, 165. And I'm 5'9", 5'10". Great for beginners. I would say as far as everything else, like, uh, but don't get it twisted. The bike only goes as fast as you want it to go. Remember that. Remember that again, because I want to be safe with my videos when we start doing these bike videos. So research, a year, then all right, I'm a cop one. Then all right, we're going to cop all three of them. Try to get a good deal, so on and so on. Then three months until we pulled, until I, I slash we pulled the trigger. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like a impulse real quick. I don't care if these particular ones are going like hotcakes. Not worried about that. Even though uh, on one situation, we didn't cut a deal because of $100. And it wasn't about the $100. It was just about the point. Like, yo, look how dirty that is too. After it's only got five miles on it. Like, yo, we really not gonna cut a deal because of a hundred bucks. And of course they weren't, or of course he wasn't the salesman. Because in five minutes somebody gonna walk in and give him that hundred dollars, and that's gonna go to him. Uh, so all this obviously, it's just going away. I call it. We gonna kill the fender, the fender killer. And eliminator, call it what you want. We're gonna kill that so the plate just comes off of there. Blam, blam, blinkers off of that, right? Um, I think I did a pretty good jump off. Blam, blam on the bike. Almost eight minutes walk around type of deal. All right, I'm gonna tell you, um, after three months, then the siding. All right, Yamaha within this lane, Yamaha, Honda, KRT, Kawasaki. Hands down, within that lane, my opinion, it's the best bike right here. Hands down. From ergonomics, power, how easy it is to work on, design, um, so on and so on. 
modifications that you can do that still are covered under the warranty. Hands down, Kawasaki Ninja for EX400 ABS, best one, hands down. And for beginners, this is what I recommend. Nothing less, nothing most, my opinion. Of course, we do go off looks. You got her ears up right now like my dog, you feel me? She looks mean. It's a mean looking joint, you know what I'm saying? It's a mean looking joint. And I would have um, <clears throat> kept the review out there in the sun with a lot of light, but the phone keeps dying from the heat. Like emergency, it's too hot. It's about 120 degrees right here right now. And the garage is hot. But out there would have been dead already. Already did this like six times. So pretty simple. Pearl Blizzard white, which is just like a candy metallic white, black ac accents. What do I hate about the bike before I even bought it? So I know what I'm getting into. Number one, these jagged ass pigs right here. Uh, we're switching these ASAP just to some normal. I just couldn't do like the 636. Just some nor normal rectangular pegs. You know what I'm saying? That's all. These are jagged. Let's just show you. Not only are they jagged, but they're too close. So without doing the rear set on both sides yet, because that's about 1200 hopefully I get some replacements for these. And hopefully I can either try to adjust this higher lower or this further back or higher something like that because right now i'm either having to go back to get under and shift up or go around and under to shift up but outside of that because this can be adjusted this can be adjusted this can be adjusted right here these going asap i'm going to show you why i'll show you why because with two feet down well hold on real quick what comes with the bike Get a tool kit, which they gave me one. So I don't know. There might be another one under the seat. I haven't even taken off my seat yet. The manual. Oh, remember, I own this joint. There ain't no payments. The accessories. I uh, placed a $400 joint with Kawasaki. Here you go, the keys. There's two keys. One that has the laser etched um, serial number, whatever. So if you lose the key, you got, got to have that little laser imprint joint. You guys know that, but I don't know, you do. So that key's put away in the bank, so on and so on. Um, some of you guys on Instagram wondering what that was. It was the braided uh, Supreme keychain. There you have it. Um, of course, this is owner stuff. You know what I'm saying? Paid in full cash, all that jazz. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Um, the seats are really, really good quality. But let me show you real quick, like, what I'm hating. Oh, not what I'm hating, what I already knew. Right there, there you go. You guys can see it. You feel me? Like, it's hard to put your foot down there. Even if the peg is back, I'm still, you know, not in a good position. Versus on this side, I'm good. Bike is straight, see? I'm good. It's not a problem. So, pegs gotta go immediately. Um, the grips on the handlebar, horrible. No grip, a lot of tension, you got to go. Uh, the adjust, the adjustments on the bike, I don't know, I think the dealership does stuff, do things like this on purpose to make you go back, spend money. Um, I'm not sure, but see how this is? It should never be like this. They both should not be lined up. Correct me if I'm incorrect down here, veterans. Uh, but once you have it in place how you want it, with the free play how, you, how it should be, they shouldn't be both be lined up. They should be not lined up so it don't come out. Check me if I'm wrong. Um, as far as, real quick, I'll touch on this. As far as free play, right? All you got to do is get a quarter. See right there? Put a quarter right there and then let it go. If the quarter stays there in place, the free play is on point. Even though this is up and down a little bit, I don't like this. So the jagged ass pigs gotta go ASAP. The grips gotta go ASAP. Of course, center killer gotta go ASAP. Muffler, slip on, gotta go ASAP. Same, pegs on this side gotta go ASAP. Um, <clears throat> the mirrors, I love them, but I wish I could put the 300 
uh, Ninja ones on here, but I actually like them. I saw a lot of stuff on eBay to add to the handlebars and all that, but I'm putting in bar protections, um, sliders, which I wish it was more like the Honda, like more naked, but it's all good. They, the slider's gonna come out of there on the front axle, the rear axle, the spools, of course. Um, this part right here, the white part right here, this part's getting painted. And I don't know about the front, but the back spoiler jump off, yes. Hopefully both of the seats are gonna be sent out um, to get done, like ostrich, uh, gator or something. Most likely in red, I'm thinking. I would love to do white, but obviously, you know, white's gonna get dirty. But I'm gonna keep my OEM joints. So what I'm gonna do is purchase the more comfortable seat that they sell and send that out. Hopefully to my mans that I've been watching for like six months. I'm gonna just say Bama, he does great work on motorcycles. Um, as far as like painting the mirrors and all, same with the mirrors. I'm gonna order some OEM mirrors, maybe the 300 ones. Send those joint, the seats, the fairings that I want painted and get that done, okay? What else? I'm gonna keep all my OEM parts as everybody knows, everybody knows you should. Bolts, everything. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, how this is looking right now is nothing how it's gonna be when it's finished. So I'll be busy for the winter in the garage, not in the heat, you know, with a hobby, um, with a something productive as a hobby versus something that's not productive, which I'll touch up on my shows. Again, the studio's not done, guys. COVID-19, I apologize. The studio's not done. Still wait. Live show is gonna be on point. I'd rather wait and do things properly than rush them and not be on point. Uh, modifications like already ordered on deck. Um, the oh man, the kickstand, the kickstand plate, the grips, um, the levers, the windshield, more aerodynamic windshield so the air doesn't hit me right like in the chest, just go kind of just go over me. Um, of course, all of the sliders, uh, which of course are gonna come out of here, the main sliders, front and rear wheel sliders. You know what I'm saying? The spools, of course. Um, all of the guarding plates for both sides. Um, that's getting powder coated right there. Same on the other side, getting powder coated. Uh, brake lines. Uh, we're gonna do like a KRT green or blue or red. I'm thinking KRT green because it's already gonna be like red, white, and blue. So that KRT green is gonna throw it off. Plus I already have the KRT green uh, cover that goes right there. I was gonna, uh, I got carburetor in my head, but not carburetor. So it blocks, you see shit's getting in there with five miles already. KRT green joint coming, so we're gonna put it right there. Um, the theft protection system is pretty dope because it's basically gonna go with the 360 camera joint GPS that I have set up, where if you get too close or you bump it or you touch it and I drop it, it just goes 360, something like this, up and down. It shows you where the sound's coming from, it beeps, so on and so on, and it goes to your phone, your computer, your iPads, all that jazz. Then after that, the theft protection joint locks up your bike, right? Both discs, front and back, the key as well and the alarm is three times louder than a car. Um, so you have to pick the bike up to steal it, literally. And if you do pick the bike up, it's still gonna ring off, so on and so on. And of course you can cut the wires and all that to not be located by GPS, which gets contacted by the police immediately, but it's connected, that particular part, it's not connected to the main battery. We'll talk about that later, as far as batteries and having two batteries. What else, I'm trying to make it super quick. Uh, YouTube, man, 2020 owned. No payments on nothing, nada. Uh, so these right here, I'm not big on lights. Uh, you know, having your bike glowing or nothing like that. But, so like the passenger jump off, I'm either taking these off completely or um, I'm gonna do like my man's. He put like the RGB LEDs on this little Y looking joint and it looked real cool. Wavy. It was on a Jixxer 750, which is the bike I had uh, 15 years ago. 
GSXR, I'm sorry, 600. My man's had a 750. Um, and it looked real cool on that back area. And that was all he had. It wasn't like the whole jump off. Oh yeah, we're doing the rims, of course, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got a Kawasaki box coming for like $200. Uh, of course, the 12 volt AC adapter right here, US, two double USB round jump off already in motion. I don't mind paying Kawasaki to $90. I don't mind, but theirs don't light up in a circle. It doesn't have lights. So the ones that are Amazon second market, they look better. And a box from uh, Kawasaki, like they don't even send you like a free keychain. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. But when it comes to brakes uh, for beginners, anybody, uh, your brakes, your clutch, your front brake, your back brake is your protection. So don't use any after parts when it comes to clutch, front brake, and your back brake right here. Again, what I don't like, I didn't touch on. Uh, the front brake's a little too tight, too spongy for me. See that? Same with the clutch. It's cool, it's Gucci. It's, it's on point, but with two fingers, it hits my fingers. You know, so I might send out the OEMs and get them painted or get some joints after I talk with Kawasaki. Same on this side, rear sets, but we're Gucci on the brake side. Uh, of course, you know, little blings and stuff like that. Like we, can, we might switch the, uh, the cab, you know, to go red, white, blue, whatever you want to do. Um, the spoons just go right here. That'll be like a five minute joint. The axle ones go right here. You get rid of the, uh, what are these called? You get rid of these pin, you know what I'm saying? And you just slide them on and clack and clamp them down and you're good. But I need stands first. And I need like a GoPro or something. So if you guys want to support your boy, uh, PayPal Cash App is down there. You feel me? Because um, I actually, after I turn it on right now, I take it for a ride. But I can't hold it. the the phone with one hand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not when I'm doing that. I need a, a camera for the bike, I guess. Uh, brake lines. I showed you all of that, of course. This is going to be a different color. I already ordered the pads from Kawasaki. Both of them. Uh, because I thought they were really, really like grip pads, but they're not really, really like grip pads. They're more protection than grip pads. Um, great bike for beginners, why? Um, I think the size, the seat size and all that. Um, for me, even for me, them boys, oh, I thought that was one of my pockets. For me, I can adjust that, you know what I'm saying? tougher, lighter, softer. And for me, I'm gonna make a little more balance here. You feel me? At 5'9", five, 5'10", five, a buck 80. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit lighter than for somebody that might be uh, 6'4", and 225 or something, which is dope. Um, again, the seats uh, quality is pretty, pretty awesome. Again, uh, you know, you take your time and you buy what you want at the end of the day. It's a mean looking bike. I say it's great for beginners because you get everything you can with it. Um, some of the people, not professionals, not mechanics, not riders, they said like, you're not gonna get this um, modded up and running with 60 horses or, or more. <laughs> you guys are out of your mind. You have no idea. And again, we don't upgrade and trade. We buy new ish as you should. You know what I'm talking about? Um, LED front lights, uh, we can put LEDs on the turn signals, but I'm happy with the turn signals coming on the body as it is, instead of having turn signals sticking out on the bike, which I'll show you guys in a minute real quick. You feel me? So for beginners, I think this is the best, or Jix or 600, but that might be a little too crazy because you have more than enough power here. Of course, more on the back end, quote unquote, pause. Um, you can't pop a wheelie on this. I already tried and tried, and then I did, and then I almost wrecked. You know what I'm saying? But then I did uh, for a second year. You can't. We're just not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? At all. 
Um, but yeah, you can. Uh, and again, remember beginners, you guys looking into purchasing one of these or any motorcycle, any sports bike, the bike only go as fast as you want it to go. You don't even gotta give, you just put, put it in first. And you don't gotta give it no gas slash throttle on the right side. You can just start letting go of the clutch and start walking the bike with it. And practice and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice until you decide to pull, put your feet, both your feet up and go a little bit. But for another video, you feel me? Just the walk around, just the unboxing review. Delivered to my joint, you know what I'm saying? Was it going to ride it? They delivered the joint. I gave the man a little tip, you know what I'm saying? Because I told him, hey, you might have to come pick this up to be doing some servicing on it. Or you might have to come to pick this up to do some work on it. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. As far as the walk around here, goes like the front look. So the smoke bubble windscreen that's higher and has cuts, aerodynamics, going to be real wavy. I'm going to put lights again. These lights that go around the dash, but now that I see it, and now that I had an actual bike, I can actually put it around all of that area. So it really have some light up there. As far as the controls, uh, real easy. With your throttle, which um, we need the modification from the Jixxer, because you're supposed to have your hand like this, not like this. Your hand should be like this. First of all, let me get the bike straight, hold on. Some of you guys might, again, work with the new guys, guys, and it's 2020. And uh, there's not a lot of videos for mods or how to on brand new 2020s. You feel me? Always want to make sure to keep your shit straight when you come to a stop, so on and so on and so on. So your throttle, your hand should be like this. Hold on, your hand should be like this. Not like this. Yeah, it should be kind of straight, pretty much. So we wouldn't do that mod, so I don't have to go, like, look, I'd have to grab it from here, and that's full. So we want to be here, and go there, and that's full. Mark it. Not still have to go there to be maxed out. Throttle, kill switch. Um, You don't use your kill switch. That's how you mess up your batteries. Kill switch is kind of like an emergency jump off. You don't turn this on when you're going to start it, and you don't turn it off when you're done. You know what I'm saying? Kill switch, front brake, starter button, blam. Your key ignition, you can lock the bars, all that. On this side, your clutch. 2020, of course, ABS, this has a slipper clutch. So it kind of assists you if you mess up. Light beams, high beams. Blinker left, blinker right, your horn, and then your pass signal or the flash, like move out the way, jump off. Um, <laughs> show you what it, so I'll show you guys right now. It's a little hard with one hand, but hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. get the speedo shot before I turn it on because then I have to speak over it. Um, there you go. It was dope on the 2020 that I didn't know. You can adjust the brightness and all that. Um, another guy showed me that you have like just like the phone screens. Same for the speedo speedometer. You know, cover it up, protect it, so on and so on. Um, your red line, analog, everything digital, so you, shows you what gear you're in, the time, the clock, trips, and all that, how fast you're going, what gear you're in, how hot it is, the oil, you know, you see the gas pretty full, how many miles, we have five, um, it came with less than one, not even one, so they really do too much as far as testing, it, if you ask me, um, and that's that, we'll touch, you know, more mods and, you know, get in detail in another video, uh, now I'm gonna start it, start the button. Kickstand is up. Both of my feet down. We're neutral. No hands. 
pretty light. And don't rev it, don't rev your bikes when you're cold. Don't do that. Don't rev your bike. I wouldn't do that right now. You see what I'm saying? Um, the bike won't start, or if you try to start it while the kickstand is down, or if I try to put it in the first, the bike is just going to turn off. It's going to kill it on you. Safety type of joint, letting you know, like, you're in first gear and your kickstand is down, which is pretty dope. Uh, what else? And that's it, really. Just show you guys what you get. Um, maybe I got double up on, on the tools because they, they just gave me those. I'm assuming with the walk around and I had to go back up there and, you know, have them do the walk around and all that that they took them out to hand them to me. Maybe there's one underneath the my seat, not the passenger, and they gave me an extra one, no big deal. But remember, um, I put about a thousand, or I'm gonna need to put about the rest, jacket, pants, uh, about a thousand in gear, you know, registration, insurance, all that. Um, and then a lot of tools, um, decent tools, but I have them inside, but I ordered so far torque wrenches, you know, all that stuff, just starting out, building back, you know what I mean? To do things right. And at 100, forget a 120, at 99, 103 degrees, at 90 degrees, it ain't time. So it's good for me, because what I can do now is I can stack up all the parts, all the modifications. Of course, the spools, um, the grips, I'm gonna do that ASAP. If I can send out the seeds, which I'm gonna have, I'm gonna order another seat, another mirror, send those out to get painted at the front, that middle fairing, the bottom belly fairing as well. Uh, instead of Kawasaki Racing Team, it's gonna be a Kawasaki Street Team, that's GK23, you know. Uh, that gives me time to stack up everything. Dyno, switching batteries, all that. But, but whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, take it easy. This joint just got here, delivered. Don't even, it got five miles on it. Take your time, you feel me? Learn how to ride the bike, not ride the bike, learn how to feel the bike, because it's different. Um, so one thing that I don't like outside of what I don't like on a bike is how the bike came tuned for, from the dealership. Sometimes they do things like that on purpose. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how the clutch is tuned, how the front brake is tuned, the back brake is tuned. I don't like ish like this. Um, I don't like that the chain is not really greased how it should be. Um, outside of that, I really can't complain. Look at the seat and the height. Again, I'm a, you know I'm Tupac Floyd size, like a reference point so you guys can use that in your head. I'm sure everybody's watched Floyd fight. Shout out to TMT and Floyd. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys have. And you have the same look that the 636 has as far as that mean feel, LED, so on and so on. I mean, for this lane, I had to do Kawasaki. For a project bike, I had to do Kawasaki and I had to go with a Pearl Blizzard White colorway for, for the project bike. Because we got the KRT, which is for my mans, and the black one, which is my partner's. But we. I bought them all, pretty much, slash we, slash SGK. Um, outside of that, we're gonna kill the fender, the grips, the levers, put the pad on the kickstand, uh, chain eventually, of course, sprockets. We're gonna protect everything. Sliders already ordered, uh, front and back, spools. I need the stands, you know? People talk a lot of shit about, like, non-branded, like, uh, not a not a pit bull stand or not a woodcraft stand like they're junk i seen van break them with his hand so that kind of scares me a little bit about going cheap you know and that's 250 that's pretty much 500 bucks just on stands to be able to have your bike properly sitting if you want to do anything to it you feel me um and i think that's about it next video i'll show y'all how to turn and the lights look maybe when it's like a nighttime. But this is long and then off pause as far as unboxing review, 35 minute jump off. And I'm sweating heavily and yeah. So most of my money as far as 
straight off the rip Kawasaki dealership went into GPS camera theft protection and since that is already on deck the next thing is the front camera and the back camera which on the ninjas are real easy to hide why those for accidents and things like that but not really just for that so I can have it and see behind me and I repeat you never look down you're looking forward I only look behind you like you're in a car when I'm at a stop sign or at a red light and see who's behind me, how far. It'll show you the, the, the yards, the feet, however it works, but not while you're moving. When you're at a stoplight, a red light, I have a back camera, just like you would in a car. But for you beginners, if you're gonna look down at your camera, don't even do what I'm trying to tell you guys. You know what I'm saying? The only reason for that, I'd say hide it. Don't even mess with it if you think you're tempted. For me, I'm Gucci with it, with the phone, everything in here, light it up, and it's going USB right here. I don't even have to go to um, the battery. USB it right here next to the phone. And this camera's plugged in, outside of the theft system and all that stuff. Outside of the 360 camera. Only when I'm stopped at a red light, at a stop sign, or let's say I'm clear ahead. The road is clear, I'm Gucci. I can look down. Anybody behind me? Is a cop? No, no, no. Is my man's coming? Did I lose him? Okay. But you ride a motorcycle, you got to be aware. You turn to the left, you look right. You turn left, so on and so on. You know, please, please, I cannot uh, stress safety enough for beginners. Anybody that might want to buy a bike. With me, again, my clutch, my front brake, my rear brake, uh, my gears, my sprockets, my chain, my tires, those are my life. There is no Amazon or eBay-ish for that type of um, upgrades. Talk to Kawasaki, what's the best? Talk to the company, so on and so on. Spend the money, the best of the best when it comes to brake, clutch, gears, back brake, front brake, any of that stuff, that's your life. With that shit on play, there's no Amazon, no eBay, nothing coming from China, so on and so on. That's why maybe I'm just going to take these off and have these painted and keep the OEM ones. I don't know. I might take these off and have adjustable ones and keep these on. But you see these? These are a little... That's the free play. I'm Gucci with that. But we have a little up and down going on. I don't know. Dealership stuff, you know. Got to work on your on your bike learn how to wrench on, wrench on your bike on your own working on your own i ain't no professional by any means um again i had this is kind of like learning how to ride a bike again and i had a jixer 15 years ago it's a long long time and this is different from a 15 2007 um motorcycle and just abs slipper clutch it's a different animal it's a different animal in a bunch of ways for some people it could be like super easier for some people, it could be like, whoa, it's a little different. And here it is, your brand new 2020 EX400 Ninja ABS in the Pro White Blizzard SGK23 Project Bike. Peace and blessings to everybody. Wish you guys nothing but the best. Stay tuned for the sneaker reviews. And obviously, motorcycle, music, sneakers, fashion line, custom sneakers, so on and so on. Oh yeah, I got a little joint that's coming that sleeves over the gears so we can wear our Yeezys, our Off-Whites, our Jays on our bikes and not ruin them. It's a little protector, you know, so we can rock our Jays or our Off-Whites, whatever kind of shoes we want. But we'll get to that in another video. Next video, hopefully I have something to where I can write it and record. One to everybody, be safe, stay up, peace and blessings.